Hi, it's Andre from Adicore, and today we're going to be taking a look at the instructions for upgrading the firmware in the Boffintronics RC Receiver Recorder. First thing you're going to want to do is go to adicore.com and go to the Receiver Recorder page. The product number is AD539. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there's a link to Adicore's GitHub page. This is where we keep all the software versions for our products. Click on the link, and it'll open in another browser tab. On the GitHub page, we're now going to download a zip file with the code. Click on the green code button and select download zip. Open your downloads folder and unzip file. If you don't already, you're going to need to have the Arduino IDE installed. To download it, go to arduino.cc and follow the instructions for your system there. To make running the code easier, let's copy the unzip directory into your Arduino folder in the documents folder. Now, let's fire up the IDE. Select File, and then Sketchbook, and select the Receiver Recorder. For the code to compile and run, we're going to need to install a few libraries. Two of them can be installed from the Arduino Library Manager, and one will need to be installed manually. To install the two through the Library Manager, go up to Tools and Manage Libraries, and then search for the library name as called out in the code. You'll need to install the NRF24L01 library by TMRH20 and the SDFAT library by Bill Greenman. To manually install the MCP23S17 library by Majenko, click on the GitHub link in the code to go to the GitHub page and click the green code button and select download zip. Open your downloads folder and unzip the file. Copy the unzipped directory to your Arduino Libraries folder in your Documents folder. Restart the Arduino IDE so that it can see the addition of the new library. Open the code again if it did not auto-open. Now we're going to need to set the board type so that the IDE knows which board it's going to be talking to. There's a description of this board type here in the code but our receiver recorder is the same processor and board type as a standard Arduino Leonardo, so we'll use that as the board type. Go to Tools and set the board type as an Arduino Leonardo. Now, plug in the receiver recorder. Windows is going to assign it a COM port, and we can see the port by selecting Tools and then Port. There should be an entry for the Arduino Leonardo. In my case, it was assigned COM11. Now you're ready to program the receiver recorder. Select Sketch and then Upload. This will compile the code and upload it to the receiver recorder. When it says Done Uploading, the code has been uploaded to the board. Now we'll need to update the config file on the SD card so it matches the code we just uploaded to the board. Unplug your receiver recorder and remove the SD card. Insert the SD card into your computer. If you've manually made any changes to your config.txt file, you'll need to back up the file and manually make the changes to the new config.txt file we're going to copy. Go to the Receiver Recorder Code folder and select the SD card directory. There you'll find a copy of the config.txt file. Copy that to your SD card. Remove the SD card and insert it back into your Receiver Recorder. You're now on the latest code version and ready to use the receiver recorder. That's it for programming instructions for the Boffintronics RC receiver recorder. If you have any questions or comments, please check out the Boffintronics and Adicore forum located at forum.boffintronics.com. That'll be the place where we can answer questions that you may have, as well as share all of the cool things that you guys are building with the Boffintronics RC receiver recorder. Thanks for watching.